Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Tuplex. Today we're going to be setting up the beginnings of the Green Circuit build and Red and Green Science. Um, I've already got uh, iron and copper and steel and stone brick on the main bus. Uh, I did put another vertical walking path right here uh, so we can get to the lower part of the base. I added a radar down here to uh, get more coverage. Looking on the map, uh, so far still no biters. Uh, did find some oil, which is good. Uh, didn't see any before, so uh, <laughs> I'm glad some showed up. We're going to need that before too long. Uh, very big iron patch down here, 22 million so far. And it's not even completely revealed yet. So I'm um, pretty happy with the richness of the resources that I'm seeing. They are spaced pretty far apart, which is going to be great for trains. So um, let's start with our circuit build. Now, what I'd like to do is um, use the first two lines of copper. Uh, rather than splitting off of the bus and continuing with four lines, I'm going to take the first two lines and dedicate those to green circuits. And then the other two will continue down the bus to feed all the other processes. Um, I've done that before. I uh, did that in the tutorial series and it worked out really well. I was never really starving for copper for circuits. Um, you'll also see I just set up a kind of a temporary little factory over here to make circuits and gears and so on in case I need to handcraft something. So I'll have plenty of belts and other stuff that I need. So let's get started. Um, I like to give myself a space of eight tiles, you know, which would be one, two, let's see, that's three, six, seven, eight there. So that would be our first machine. That way I've always got room to, to put stuff in underneath and above the walking path in case I need to squeeze something by. All right, so I've been kind of debating here. Um, you know, a normal a normal green circuit build is going to have three copper wires going into two assemblers for the green circuits. But then once we upgrade to modules and beacons, um, that ratio changes. It becomes almost a one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm kind of thinking that it might be a good idea just to set it up for modules from the very beginning. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, the thing is, it's going to throw off. It's going to throw off the ratios a little bit, um, at least in terms of how many buildings I need. I'll have to uh, to run some different calculations. Um, theoretically, right now, this will make it run 50% slower. Or no, it'll run 33% slower. All right, cool. Got an achievement. Because instead of, I guess achievements got reset with the new version. Because now instead of having one and a half machines feed each one. I have one machine feeding each one. So if I just increase the number of machines that I think I need by 33%, then I should be okay. All right, so um, this gives us two per cycle. So for right now, I'm gonna have two inserters between copper cable and green circuits. And that's because we don't have any inserter stack bonuses yet. Once we get stack bonuses, then we can reduce that to one because I'll be able to pick up two items at a time. All right, so this is gonna be our first line of copper going up here. And I wonder if I want to give myself more space than that. All 
Yeah, let me give myself a little bit more room. I'm gonna move this over a bit. Because we're actually gonna need two and a half, or one and a half belts on each side, eventually. All right, so let's just make these the copper cables. There we go. Okay, so like I said, uh, two on each side, and then I'm going to exit on the side like that. We'll have a belt of iron coming up the middle. No, we don't need to exit like that. And then down the middle here, we'll have our exit for the circuits themselves like that. balance here and then we'll have the same thing on the other side okay and it'll repeat in that manner and then later on when we have beacons uh, we can put a beacon on either side of these and then that'll hit you know the next the next cluster of circuits all right so uh, let's duplicate this here on the other side as well. what it's going to look like. Uh, now we just need to power it up. And that should do it. Okay, and I'll try to put these on the same place on both sides. This is going to be our other copper line. Don't need some more undergrounds. So let's bring that other one down here. Yep, that goes there. Okay, and then we just need to bring in the iron. Let me grab some more belts and some gears circuits, reload that. Okay, now this is going to need, this belt is going to need to have a fairly high throughput. Um, so I'm going to do one of these extractors. There we go. And then we should start to get some circuits coming out. Uh, where can I put a light? I guess I can put a light there. Okay. And then we need another one right there. Oh, and then that one goes. 
goes across, and then that goes across. I'm starting to see the drawback of having these easily replaceable <laughs> underground belts and stuff. It's really easy to drag over it and, uh, and lose it. Oh, I did this completely wrong, didn't I? There we go. Okay. So I call this a high volume extractor because what it does, you know, normally if you put um, a splitter here, the best that you're going to get coming out of here is half of a belt. All right. It, you know, unless this belt gets completely backed up, then you'll get more than a half a belt. But normally you're only going to get half of a belt coming out of here. Um, once we have a bunch of these, we're going to be using a lot more iron. And that is screwed up. Dang it. That is in the wrong place. I need to move it. In any case, uh, what this does is um, it splits this belt. So you're getting, you're getting half of this belt going here and then half of this belt going here. Those combine into one. So you get a full belt of throughput coming out. Uh, and then out the other side, it balances again. But unfortunately, um, I have to move this over by one tile because I put that uh, second set of circuit machines in the wrong place. I have one too many spaces here. So let's get that corrected. Yeah, that should go right there. All right. Yeah, and it's not going to work. It's too close. Well, I could do it without the balancers, I suppose. Yeah, let's try it like this. Hopefully that'll work. Okay. I mean, I know I'll still get a full throughput on this belt. I just don't know how well balanced it's going to be without having this uh, second set of uh, splitters rebalancing afterwards here. But we'll see how it goes. In any case, uh, we've got plenty of green circuits coming out now. And we can run these down onto the bus. I hate that sound. All right. So uh, now we can start making red and green science. Uh, let me start by building some labs. I've got two already. I'll build 18 more. No, let's get some circuits first. Hang on, hang on. I don't want to handcraft all those circuits. That'll take forever. 
I guess I can live with 15 of them. Do I need more belts? Yeah, I could use some more belts. could always use more gears. Um, I'm going to run up there and grab the other labs that we have while these are crafting. And I need 5, 11. Uh, we'll make a few more assembler 2s. Pulls here a bit. There we go. How are we doing on power? Okay, looks like we need some more power. So let's do that while we're here too. Actually turn that off. Okay, and I'm going to need another piece of pipe oh there we go Inserters. Yeah, let's make some more lights. Probably some more power poles. Okay, so um, red and green science is a pretty standard setup. Actually, I don't need this anymore. I'll go ahead and pick that up. Uh, we'll do five machines making red and six making green. Like I said, pretty standard setup. All right, so uh, I'm gonna give myself eight spaces here. And there, I'll leave uh, a couple extra for good luck. So first building will be there. Um, the other thing I wanna do is I want to make sure that I leave room for to put robo ports down here along the path uh, once we get to that point. Um, so I made a blueprint just so I could space those out. So I'm going to go ahead and ghost in some robo ports so that way we won't build over top of them later i'll make sure i leave room there so the robo ports can be evenly spaced i just pulled that blueprint from a different game uh, because obviously i don't have robo ports yet um, so i just exported that blueprint to my blueprint library all right here we can see some of the famous cliffs from version 16. Uh, as you can see, you can't you can't walk up them until you get there. Looks pretty good. You can blow them up. There's cliff explosives that come later in the game. Okay, so uh, this one is going to make gears. These are going to make red science, and those will go up the belt there. We can bring iron up here. And then copper comes up there. Alright, and then 
There we go. And then I'll put some lights. Okay, so let's give that some iron and copper. And we'll get that going. straight up and we'll put down some labs Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. And we're going to have three belts in between since we have six types of science packs. sure how these uh, how these red ones are going to be arranged yet so I'll just put one in the middle for now and hopefully I won't have to move them later some trees. Need more power poles. Okay, so this is going to give us uh, 45 science per minute. Um, because with, since the science packs take five seconds each, I have five buildings making those science packs. That means we get ideally one per second. Um, but then the machines themselves have a crafting speed of 0.75, so hence we get one every three quarters of a second or 45 per minute. So that's going to be our target science production rate. All right, and then green science over here. All right, let's choose our next research. Uh, we've got some good choices here. Let's say either advanced material processing, landfill, or military. Um, I'm going to do landfill first because I want to fill in those water deposits that I have down near where we started. Okay, so this is how I usually set up green science. I don't know if this is the most space efficient way, but it's always worked pretty well for me. Uh, we do inserters there, we do belts there like that and then we have iron in 
iron in. That has iron in. And then green circuits in. Okay. So let's get in. Let's see. That way for the second one we'll be splitting off this second belt instead of the first one which has already been extracted from. It just helps keep things well balanced. belts. Fortunately, I didn't get rid of those yet. I don't need any more gears. I'm doing fine there. And our power poles. Okay, so that'll be green circuits there. up okay and then uh, we'll put in a couple more lights over here and we're good to go and we're making red and green signs so of course we have six green science machines because those take six seconds. Uh, so the same, for the same reason we have five here, we have six here. And then once that gets up here, we can start doing the landfill research. Well, and it looks like I need to extend this belt by one more tile. There we go. That'll get them all involved. Okay. So we are making good progress here. Uh, for the next episode, I think we'll start to set up a make everything area. Actually, let me see what I need to blow up those cliffs. Um, I need oil, sulfur, ugh, explosives. Okay, that's gonna be a while before I can make that. Um, because these guys are going to be in the way of what I want to do next. But I guess that's part of the challenge of having the cliffs. So we'll deal with that in the next episode. Uh, I, th I think next I'd like to start to set up uh, a make everything area. So we have some supplies. And uh, then we'll start working towards getting some oil production. So we can start working on plastic and the other petroleum products that we're going to need. So until then, uh, if you enjoyed this, please hit like for me, uh, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.